So as we're starting the markings on the globe, we decided to make a little craft uh, with the kids. And I just went to the local craft store and we got styrofoam balls. And they came in a little package or two. They were really cheap, like $2. So what we did is, first of all, we painted the northern hemisphere and the, the southern hemisphere. And to make it easier, uh, I put a stick. And these are like the kebab sticks that you use for grilling and making kebabs in the kitchen you know that's what I that's what I had in my cabinet so I put it on to that I stuck it on one end and then that'll be that was easier for them to paint one side and then paint the other side and that way they wouldn't get messy and try to figure out how to hold it and paint it at the same time after that was dried out then we traced the map on it and uh, my husband did that he just got a marky, uh, sharpie marker and just traced the black um, lines on it and um, after that, we got more Sharpie markers, and we did the latitude and the longitude with the markers. And like, it was this was a little tricky for the kids. They tried a little bit, and I let them try for a little while, but then I ended up finishing, and we were they would just watch me do it while I was tracing the lines. And uh, this is by no means to scale, or you know, it's not to be exact. It's just just for them to get the idea. And then for the prime meridian and the equator, let me see if I can get it to focus a little bit. Um, if you can see here, the prime meridian and the equator, I use the puffy paint. And that way, they can it kind of pops out and it looks, you can see the difference between the other latitudes and the other longitude lines. So that that one is the equator and this one's the prime meridian. So I just ended up still having some of the puffy paint left over from the other project so like well let's just use it and that's what we did and now I'm gonna plan I'm planning on putting a little string on the top and just hanging it from the ceiling so it's in our school room so it can stay there and they can look at it and review it and remember the different markings on the globe <laughs> 